Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Estefania and in today's video we are going to be talking about Herba Gold. So I have done another video on this perfume before, however it was perfumes I purchased in Portugal. This one, my dear friends, I brought back from Portugal. If you see there, if the camera likes to focus, 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 I command you to focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus, whatever. Herba Gold from Europe before it was made available in the United States. I was super excited because this was like a fragrance that was exclusive to the Xershoff, um stores. I bought it in, in Lisbon, Lisboa, when I went out there. I was super excited to find something new. And then I think it was 2023, they brought it here to the United States. I had it before. That's why I have the fuzzy bottom. I am not a fan of fuzzy bottles. I have said this in the previous video. My Herba Pura perfume, the blue one, just completely like arrived leaked one day from a department store. And we got it figured out. We figured a um, resolution for that situation. But I ended up peeling it all off. I am not a fan of the fuzzy bottles for that reason. You can already see like the line right here from where it was like sitting. Um, so the difference is that in the United States of America, they made it like this. A solid bottle. And Rafi now carries it. So, whoa, I almost dropped it. Rafi in Parfums Rafi in Sherman Oaks. I know I tend to speak about him a lot, but I go there a lot. And he's super friendly, super knowledgeable, and he carries this one now. And I purchased something from him the other day, and he sent me a sample, which I appreciate because I did have the suspicion or concern that maybe the United States version was like a reformulation of the European version. So I tested them out yesterday. I actually wore that one yesterday, not today. Today I'm wearing another one, which I will post the video or I already posted the video for that one. So this one, um, I'm just gonna spray my hand. I already know, and I already know what I'm gonna say because I already tested these yesterday. So this one's the one from Portugal, from the Zershoff exclusive store. I bought it from the store. And this one, is a sample and it's not the same. You don't get the same spraying power. You don't cover the same area. You know what I mean? It's small, you gotta spray more to get the same amount. So I did three sprays of that. Do they smell the same to me? Not exactly. Um, sometimes it's just the batch, you know? In the one from the United States, it smells a little bit more fruity, more citrusy versus the European one, it just smells like more of the musk, more of the softness. And once again, it could be the sprayer, it could be the batch, it could be the fact that mine has been open for a year and change. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of factors that influence how you experience a perfume. But in general, they smell the same. They, they, they smell the same. They smell the same. Um, I'm super happy that Rafi sent me this because I just want to remove that doubt from my mind, you know? They, they are very similar, identical. Like I said, it was just like, my, my nose can pick up this one maybe just a little bit softer, just that softer um, scent. So yeah, we got that out of the way. Now we know that the European one and the one from the United States are essentially the same thing. The other cool thing about the one from the United States, and you can kind of tell from this picture, they have the 1.7 ounce option. This one only came in this huge presentation, which is 100 milliliters or 3.4 fluid ounces. Yes, 3.4 fluid ounces. I love when they have smaller presentations because for those of us who collect perfumes, it's kind of nice to have like something smaller, not something big, you know, to only use this much and then get, I don't know, like get over it or whatever the case may be. I love smaller presentations. I'm so glad that they did that here. I don't wish that I would have bought this one because I'm happy that I purchased this and this is like the scent that I remember wearing out when I was in Portugal for those two weeks or whatever. So I'm happy that they have this option. So I'm gonna go over the official notes as I usually do and then I'm gonna say what I like, 
get, get from the perfume because there's some notes that I absolutely don't smell. I don't know what the heck it is or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to tell you guys from my perspective, my rustic ass perspective. Top notes, therefore the color, Sicilian orange and lemon, Calabrian bergamot. So Italian, right? Sounds Italian. Mediterranean fruits. What can that be? That can be a lot of things. It can be dates. It can be more citrus. It can be a lot of things. Those are the heart notes. The base notes are white musk, amber, and Madagascan vanilla. So for those who want to know, does this smell like erba pura? Not really. Not really. No. Erba pura is completely different. This one is a softer. There is a little DNA. You know, Exershoff has a lot of similarities between a lot of their perfumes. When it's the same perfumer, you get to smell that similarity a little bit not even that much here this is like a soft fruity tropical smoothie to me it's vanillic it's soft it's beautiful if i was to choose between erba, Go erba gold and erba pura i wish i would have met this one sooner just because i think it's more my style it's more fruity versus the other one is like more floral more woody this one's fruitier it's creamier it makes me feel happy. It's like a warm, tropical paradise kind of a vibe. Do I think this is for everyone? Yeah, I would because it's my opinion. You know, I like these types of perfumes. It's not like your typical Zershoff one that is super, super strong and whatever. Really smooth. It lasts on my desertic skin forever. Once again, I am an avid hand washer. Like I touch something and I want to go wash my hands. I touch something else, I want to go wash my hands. And it remains, okay? This stuff is strong. Once again, I've only been spraying my hands and my wrists lately because of the situation I've been having, but um, it stays on. I can smell it. I love the smell of it. It is amazing. Summer, spring, winter, fall, I would definitely say this is more of a spring and definitely summer perfume. Uh, would I wear this in the winter? Probably not. I like to wear the spicier, heavier stuff during that time of year or this time of year. But... Once again, it makes me happy. This is a happy fragrance. I love it. It smells nice. Um, That's pretty much all I have. I mean, other than the price, they have the 1.7 ounce for $200 here in the United States. I want to say I bought it for that price due to the... Because when we travel to Europe, we don't pay their taxes. So I got that money back. So I can't really tell you how much I paid for it, but... It was 200 and change. So, I mean, if they have a little one for 200 here, I don't know how much the big one is. Let me, let me see if I can find it really quick for you. Um, so far, do, do they only have it in that? Oh, no, $300. Okay, so this size is $300. I'm pretty sure I got it for less than that, only because of the conversion and the fact that I got my taxes back from when I went and traveled out there. So, yeah. 1.7 ounce, 200, 3.4 ounce, 300. If you like big bottles, go for this one. If you're OCD like I am, just go for the one that matches the rest of your bottles. If not, I definitely recommend getting the smaller one. It is beautiful. It makes me happy. Have I gotten any compliments on this? I don't think so. But I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Anyways, that's Erba Gold. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.